Alrighty. Everything all set up. This looks a hair. This might be straight. All right. And did you did you show Jay what I got you for Christmas? Alrighty, ready to go. Welcome to Impromptu from New Palace Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Hello, Nico. My high single is 139, low 44. And my high here at the Palace is 126, and I tied it the last time we were here. So they're going to be recording the January edition of King of the Palace. December's hasn't even aired yet. And hello to whoever just, I gotta move this. Okay, let me move the camera so I can hit the speech button. Hello, Chris. So I, last thing I did was duck pins, so I threw a few practice balls, and of course, the very first ball, I knocked down all the pins. So you know that we're not gonna do that well this time. Very first ball, a strike. But like I said, it was warm up, so go figure. Let's start. Oh yeah, we're on lane two because Travis, the guy that does oh. the work, the OEPD as he's referred to, hasn't set up the cameras for three and four, so we can't be there. No, these are the January ones. It's shot on December. They are supposed to air in January. Like the November ones were supposed to show show up on December and that I don't know what happened anyway game one welcome to Masons how does that happen Too much of a lob. Call it a three. Screw. And we have to wait for that piece of wood to settle down, and it appears it has. And a strike, but spares I'll take. It's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Still felt terrible. The first ball I threw for practice was a strike. Like I said, spare, not too bad. Oh. El Stinko living up to its name, making sure this game will start really terribly. Usually the first game after duck pins is terrible anyway. That's a one. Pulls it into possible low end of average.
any day now, that'll settle. I know it. Okay, that was interesting. Why did we stop? I don't know how much of anything you might have seen. I gotta keep an eye on this stupid thing. Halftime report. We start off wonderfully and then lob balls. No spare and El Stinko lived up to its name, but we wound up with nine from the next frame anyway, and then a 10 and a seven. We're at the bottom end of average ability with 40, which according to ICBA, Records of casual league players. Average skill is 90. Averages fluctuate typically by 10, so 90 to 100. I wonder if one of my buddies decided to play a prank, because I've never seen it go to the menu before. Or somehow touch something and didn't realize it. You didn't miss anything special, and there's nothing really good about this game. It could be a decent one, though. Dave was correct. As you can see, Travis is under the awning, so he couldn't play on three or four, which is what King of the Palace is shot on. Niner. If the quality is less than spectacular, that's because the Wi-Fi isn't working and we're relying on 4G, which is a decent signal, but it's low enough that it can get blocky. a little in the way. Plus you get a slightly better side view. First practice ball was a strike. How I wish it wasn't the practice ball.
person that doesn't suck wouldn't have almost made the left gutter. The guy that does good, like me, might either hit it or, in that case, come extremely close. The king remains for now. Just need three points to break the bottom end of average. And with the start we had, not bad. In a live stream, I believe it was live, or I don't remember if it was recorded or not, Lane two here was the first one where I got a three-digit score. When the game's over, I'm going to go and read the comments, because now they're starting to come in. good bowler wouldn't have done that. Still an eight. After the first game, and then we'll see what people have been talking about. Ten, three nines, and an eight. With that awful start and that awful fill, 85. All right, now let's see what people have been saying now that things have been pouring in. Hello, Oliver. Not too bad. Things are going, hello to Drum Machine. Oliver again. How are you today? Just saying the live stream is blurry, but we can see sort of, well, that's the way it is, unfortunately. Also, if you can see the individual pins outside of maybe the ones in the back, but if the seven rows are visible, then it's good enough because we have to use the crappier of the two cameras or else this thing will overheat using a good one. It never liked using the good camera. Game number two. Well, the good news is it's better than three. Now, if that wood settles down in the middle, that's what we're gonna aim for. It'll hopefully take out the seven, and the ball will go hit the fat wood up against the 10. Or miss it all together. And minor lobs we let live. If they're in front of the arrows, we let it live, especially after playing ducks. I wish that was ball two, but that's a two. Ten is better than three. The ICBA is also considering removing the foul, removing the lob line so maybe someday it's not going to matter. It wasn't as pretty as the practice ball, but it counts.
That means we get placing it pretty good. I can see the red lines on the pins on every lane. Well, that means it's good. So the blurriness is the camera, plus I have to zoom it in so you can see. So some of the blurriness is indeed just the way it is. And something else came up. Nice hammer. Thank you, Nico. And hello to you. That time it wasn't. And now it's time for two El Stinko the bonus balls. Where I've got double strikes. First time ever was Putnam Street, because it's Putnam's. Then Acton Bulldrome, because that was a grease pit. And then Brian's Bowl Away, which is actually a hard place. And of all places where I've got it, Mason's. Of all places. I got a double strike at Mason's, and I can't even buy one here. <laughs> Dave hates it when I say that. But it's real easy action. I don't know why I can't do it. Maybe this is the time it finally happens. Let's find out. Still, eight is pretty good. Stay on. Nope. The good news is it didn't take it, even though it's just two points. Bonus of eight, even for a strike, not so bad. That's what should have happened. Niner. pin probably wasn't good. Well, in that case, it actually helped a little. one just felt wrong. The elbow didn't like it. It was just behind the lob line. Like I said, if it's up to the little arrows, the closest ones will let it live. Niner. Like I said, especially after duck pin, I have a lob issue after I play 10 pin or ducks. Full control of that ball. Now it's time to try for the Emily, and that's when you get nothing in ball one, get them all in two. Take nine. Halftime report. Not a 10, then a strike, then a nine. The first ball knocking down eight for the fill. Another pair of nines, 55. Usually, every time I come here, 
on rare occasions it doesn't happen, I can at least get one of these games to have that many digits in the score. Which in Candlepin is actually pretty good. I think that's, a, that's equivalent to getting like a 150 in 10 pin. No, actually no. It's equivalent to like a 160, I believe. And this house is 100% honest. All right, ball two. Bowling God's middle finger for now. Hello, Patricia. And because it's a spotty signal, I think the first time it let go, it, the, that it dropped out, sometimes if the phone is doing something taxing for some odd reason, I don't know why, so I disabled a ton of things. That, or YouTube was doing something to tax it. It, on rare occasions, would completely kill the live stream, which it did. Alrighty. Next frame. So, you know, sometimes the your comments come through. Sometimes they don't. If I can respond to them, I do. I do not do like I like to say, alpha, omega, sin, the audience, and ignore you. Anyway, let's go. Looking at the delaminating paint on lane one, you can't see it because of the compression and video quality, but apparently it was a puke green color at some point. Anyway, we're halfway to Worcester and I found out Miola's is not halfway, it's about 40%. So I'm not sure exactly what halfway to Worcester is from here. Stink frame of four then, probably killed the hundred. As Dave Mandela says, if that provided the kingpin went with it, pretty when it goes. King remains for nine. at average or slightly above unless we mark.
hit. Five to hit average. In fact, the first game was an 85. We're there now with this last frame. That being said, nines, that, nine, eight, eight, 93, slightly above average. Hello, Sam Hugh. It's time for game number three. We try to fill the sheet, which is 10, but usually the new palace Qualifiers come in and we have to stop. I think we could actually make it this time. If not, probably nine games. Getting screwed? Helicopters, but doesn't do anything. Third best start you can have. That's all. Since I'm using the uh, mobile network, the battery gets eaten up alive. And unfortunately, my battery pack is really low as well. So worst case scenario, wherever the thing dies, we'll, I, have, I always have a camcorder along as well and finish up on that.
guess this is the garbage game. by far the lowest. Well, since this game is crap, Bob Caleri decided to show up. Hi, Bob. It's an easier house. Let's see if we can get rid of him. The way this game's going, yeah, it'd be a miracle. game sucks to sit. Halftime report. This is not looking good. Ten. Then that. Then that. Then the eight. And then that. Thirty-three, so I guess we can throw, call this one the game of mediocrity. So this is the suck one so far. Jack, but help on the deck. is horrible. 
Middle finger for nine. Need tens or better. Game over. your mark. Game's mediocre, mission failed. Since this ball doesn't really count it for anything, let's do a trick shot. Being written off eight, nine, eight, nine, nine. The front half ruined it. Seventy six, no good. Balls are getting filthy. All right, game number four.
to do trim and fork. Oddly enough, four is not the worst start. So we can throw this one away. That's this is by far the worst game. That'll see. Anyway, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what this bonus winds up being. Settle down. Here we go. Middle finger for now. Halftime report. Lousy start. Okay, four, then an eight. Not so good, a five. Then a spare, which helps. And then a nine. The first eight making the fill. We're at my ultimate low score for Mason's at 44. High single, 139. My high here at New Palace is a 126. We tied it last time. I don't think we'll hit that today, but never know. That spare saved this game. Let's see if we can make it even better. I 
think it was the fact that I wiped down the ball returns. Everything start, all the kicked up crap is coming off the ball now. Maintain low end of average. We got all the crap off the ball returns. Might as well just clean off the balls now that they're coming back without extra extra gripping powder all over them. All right. Once again, it's time for El Stink on the bonus ball. Let's see what this one gives us. Did we have a program for the random mixed doubles? What an ugly mess. But the wood, if we can hit the V that's right there, we could probably make a spare out of it. The six is not too bad, though. Perfect. Exactly where I told you where I was aiming for. Now that could take this really craptacular game into three digits. Another L stink of the bonus ball. This was, after two, the worst game in the lot. This could be the best one, and a three digit one, possibly. Now Stinko was a bit weak with a four, but that's still helpful. Crap, bro. 
I need all of them down to hit three digits. Let's see what we get. Of course not. So close, but no eight. And a spare, second spare in a row. First six fell for that. Then an eight, first half of those filled in that. And a nine, 99, we did not hit 100. This might be the rare day that 100 doesn't happen here. Fitcher is not that small or big of a town. 40k and yet no high-speed internet unless you live in the burbs so the funny thing is the worst game turned into the best one although we would like one with three digits so now I'm gonna plug in the power which means this thing will likely freeze up so I gotta keep an eye on the thing Game number five. And like I said, I checked the battery pack. It was really low, so worst case scenario, we'll end the stream if it's too low and finish the rest on video. Plus for the eight. Be fine. So far, this is the second worst.
not the second one. Time report. Eight. The one that's ruined everything so far. Nine, nine, eight. Rebuildable 39. I wish it was ball two, it wouldn't have worked anyway. Nines, they help. Remember, so far the prettiest things we've seen, or I've seen, you didn't see the first one, are the ones that are the best.
time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. Welcome to Watch Me Suck at Bowling. El Stanko lived up to its name with a lousy too. Behind the line again, ten. I'm writing this off as good. Seven to end it. Yeah, this is looking like a day without a hundred. Nine, eight, spare, ten, only two went in the first ball, making the fill. And a week seven, eighty-five. Game number six. We've made it halfway through. And, and come on. Pop them up. Alright. Aries. Hello. I'm from Poland. I love watching you. You're great at what you do. <laughs> I appreciate that. I do, but. Sucking eggs today. Not a single game in the three-digit mark, which, for those of you, mostly you have 10 pin. That's a, actually equivalent to about a 165, 170, somewhere in there. I think maybe 170-ish. I'd have to look at the averages again and do actual math. Average. Ability for casual leagues and candle pin is 90. Average in 10 pin is 150. Gives you a base to go by what 100 is worth of candles. Game six.
plan C. Plan A, get the pin. Plan B, hit that piece of wood on the left. Plan C, somehow cap the wood and the ball will hit the pin. 10. So far, that's the best start I've had, which... <laughs> All right. That stinking piece of wood against the six pin stood it right back up. If I hit the wood pile in the middle, we should get a spare. Held on to that one too long. Still a decent eight. Thank you, oh hidden piece of wood, for the spare we have received. Hello, Watson and Drew. Should have gone six pin. Maybe, maybe. I didn't see it that way, but you could be right. Everybody's wrong at some point in time. I wouldn't be surprised if I were wrong there. Anyway, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. They're kind of everywhere whenever they came. Well, that's disappointing. The seven fill isn't, but El Stinko stinks for the leave. All right, for a minute there, I thought there was a pin sticking up in the pin, in the uh, in the pit, which is illegal. But it's on the deck; it just really doesn't look it. And yeah, uh, in candle pin and most duck pin houses, the lanes are varnished so you can walk on. You're advised not to, but Dave knows me. Brian from Brian Zabolaway knows me. A few people at Brian know me, so if, if I self-serve, they don't care. My best game, but pretty close. Or should I say best half? Okay. 
So we have the four horsemen and the nine. All right, we're tied for the best half. 10, eight, spare, another 10 for seven, making the fill, and another 10 at 55. Tied for the best half. One moment. and the unprofessional cutting across the camera. 55 half. That's three tens in a row, and on this channel, we call that the microwave turkey dinner. Of course, you know, I have to write that on the scorecard. So far, it's the best game. There's still four frames to go. Four tens in a row. Break up those tens with a spare. That could give us our hopeful one game into the average ability sector. Which means it's now time for, as it was in here, even though we don't use it, Al Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? my customary thing to use the first ball that returns. That one's the last. Even where? Uh, 
El Stinko leaves us the Four Horsemen for six, which is not a bad film. All right, Trav. I think, barring disaster, we're going to hit our first three-digit game today. The palace gods hate my guts. Time for another El Stinko the bonus ball. Last frame, we are in the three-digit territory. Let's make it a nice three-digit territory. ball but look at that just the bowling gods middle finger for now so we have to hit it dead on or hit the hit the wood on the extreme left or right not cap it but on the extreme sides Can we get another spare? And we did. We could break the new palace high. All right, we're left to a bonus ball. The new Palace High single for me is a 126. If we can knock seven down, we got a new high single for new Palace. Stinko stinks with a horrible leave and a four. Still, finally, not only a good game, but a great one. There's our microwave turkey dinner with that 10. The next 10 definitely drew. 91 with a spare. Another spare, the six. First six from that. Then another spare, first nine, and then four. Nothing to complain about, 124, but I was hoping the 126 would fall. Thank you, Vern, and hello to you. Wow, these are up. Let's scroll down. Come on, El Stinko, Vern says. Drew Cold, I think I said hello to you. I try not to Alpha Omega Sin people. I'm sure one of these days he'll find out and make a video full of F-bombs. All he'd do is take this mediocre channel, make it a little less mediocre. All right, game number seven. Now that we're on a high, let's see how low this one goes. Usually when we have a good game, the big crash happens. Sometimes the big crash is just simply no marks, but decent numbers. And then they suck sometimes. Let's see. The best, no crash at all. We've had that happen, too. Yeah, ever 
since since I cleaned up this ball return here and cleaned off the balls, I've I've had far fewer problems. He keeps the place up. He just didn't have time to. They didn't have time to really do much today, so. It was about four inches off, but it still worked. Now that's the best start I've had. So that means, yeah, one down. <laughs> Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? I just noticed in game two that I had the first two frames were 10 or better and that's the closest I came to a perfect game in candle pin a perfect game is getting all 10 pins down in every frame on your turn regardless if it's a strike a spare or a 10 like a, several months ago somebody for the first time in recorded history got a perfect game with a 100 300 no one's ever done it closest people have come is a uh, Chris Sargent and someone named Semba, I keep forgetting his last name, I mean first name. World record, highest score, 245. El Stinko time. Will it stink for the pins or for me? Or indifferent. Stinker was weak with a four. But we're starting with a 14 for the first frame. So the equipment in back is pretty clean because it's not really coming back with much on it. It's normal for something to come back on. Ooh, nine people actually watching us at once. That's almost a record. Faster and a little more forward.
stunk. The best we can do is a six. And six it is. I know the color of the gutters and YouTube compression. That second ball went in the gutter and took out everything almost. We had four down and then the second one left only. No, that, it came out to six. Anyway, spare, then a nine. First of all, making the fill, nine, eight. Screwed by a gutter ball with a six. Still, we're in average realm with 46. And I repeat this stuff because people jump in and out of the streams. Average ability, according to ICBA standards of casual league bowlers, is 90, give or take 10, which averages generally fluctuate by that much, 80 to 100. So if it's 80, it's okay. 90, good. 100, great. Anything higher? How did that happen? You don't want that two pin to fall. I guess this is where the collapse comes in. Yep, a six and a five in this game. We've collapsed. It might be just bottom end of average. The collapse continues at seven.
Yeah, this is bottom end of average. with a nice tap. Nine. That six hurts, nine. So does that five, eight, seven, ten, eighty-five. The collapse did so well. One twenty-four the last game, and then eighty-six. The collapse. Does it continue, or is that it? Yeah, two forty-five and candle pin is impressive. On video, the highest game I've ever seen was one ninety-four. I've seen 160s and I've seen 160s thrown in person. Needless to say, who does not get those? Game eight. I think we're going to make it. We got a little more than an hour before the people that actually don't suck take over. Start this one with an authoritative 10. probably can't see or barely can behind it that may help get the spare. Or get completely screwed because that's exactly where I aimed it. Another 10. I know Jinx tip, but so far we got the perfect game streak going. My best attempt at a perfect game. The first seven, the first seven frames were tens or marks. Eight and nine were a pair of eights, and ten was a ten. And that was a 104. I literally left four pins standing the whole game. Can we keep this going? Second highest streak was four done at the grease pit known as Acton Bolodrome.
Minutes 3 and a microwave turkey dinner. So I had to mark that down on the score sheet. Three, three perfect frames so far. The fourth frame kills the streak, but a decent eight. Not bad. Things are fine. However, there's enough surrounding it that we did okay. Three tens, the microwave turkey dinner. Then the eight. And then the five. 43, so we're at the low end of average skill. And the good players are starting to rifle, start to file in, not rifle, rifle through, but file. Take the nine. blow it. Okay, maybe we didn't. And for El Stinkle, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? I also didn't do, like I said, is every half game. Look around. Jack Dawson, hello. Hello, Chris Gallant. Microwave turkey. Need some gravy. All righty. Let's see what El Stinkle gives us.
El Stinko stinks for the leaf. Although the wood might, uh, if someone's actually good, can make something out of that. Seven. All right, maybe we can do this. Unfortunately, we have, you may have that one. You gotta cap those pieces of wood. Now, who said that? Some guy said that. And yeah, that's actually his name. Some guy out there was right. You know, when you want to really know if something good's going to happen, just ask some guy. All right, El Stinko the bonus ball again, and I didn't mention this before, and I just realized I've done it, is any three combination of strikes or spares in a row, like this one for the 124, is considered a turkey in Candlepin because the game is that much harder. Can we get a second actual turkey? What will El Stinko give us? A spread eagle with a wing shot off. The fill of five is okay, but El Stinko stinks for the lead. Getting that wood to fly over to the other side is tricky. I tried to do something good bowler can do. And even they sometimes can. We need that many for that many numbers in the score. the minimum. Nine, seven, well actually spare, then a second spare, first seven fell, then a nine. First five, fill that. And then the minimum seven to hit that three digit target, 100. For an easy house, you would think I'd do even better than that. And okay, now show the chat. There we go. This one, not so much. Even the pros would struggle. Yeah, to some, some degree. We will make it. There's 45 minutes to get the two games in. Needless to say, I'll be done before they are ready to take over.
Perfect. Once again, it's time for El Stink of the Bonus Ball. What will the bonus be? That's not the one we throw. We throw the, the first one that comes back for even wear and tear on all the balls. There's absolutely no superstition of always throw the first ball that comes back. It's simply even wear and tear. That stupid wood had to collide, didn't it? Imagine what could have been. El Stinko with a stinky leave, but possibilities with five. Fifteen for the first frame. Exactly where not to hit. And curse of the fill, double pinochle for six. Sometimes you well, most of the times, you gotta love that new palace action. Head pin into that. If it sits still, which it appears it's doing. Time once again for El Stinkle the bonus ball. Let's see if it'll make a good fill and a good leave. Well, the good leave thing is too much to ask. But we could have a decent ending there. Good fill at seven. Sorry, I can't add. Once again, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. The battery level on the phone's going up, so the very slight juice this battery pack has is going to survive. What will the bonus be? Again, these leaves. <laughs> but again, we got a wood pile up that could help. Another good seven. Here we go. 
Oh, well. Again, this is a half that's threatening, but not guaranteeing a new High Palace single. High is a 139, low 44, new Palace High 126. Start with a spare. And then curse of the fill, because of the six, the first five fall for the fill. Spare, spare again. First seven fills that. Niner, first seven fills that. That's a new... King of the Palace, half of 64. <laughs> we know what happens when we have a hot half. The Great Collapse. Perhaps it was a very short collapse. We've had those. Time for L stink on the bonus ball. Let's see what this one gives us. El Stinko stinks with three. I guess that collapse was very short-lived. stink of the bonus balls. Can we get a double strike here that's been eluding me? I've got them at Putnam Street Lanes because it's Putnam. I got them at Acton Volodrome because it's a grease pit. I've gotten a double strike at Brian's, which is hard. And of all places to get them, Mason's. But I can't get one here. 
Let's see what they add up to. Well, there we go. We can finally add new pallets. Finally, New Palace joins, is the final home house to get two El Stinkos, uh, and we're live now. What happened? Did you even see anything? I don't know if you saw it, but I got a double strike. New Palace finally joins the home houses, the last one. Two El Stinkos yet again. Let's see what this adds up to. Wait a minute. If we just get one pin, I break my new Palace High single. So I think we can kiss the 126 goodbye. Never got a triple, but we got an eight. I think I might get a new high single. We did it. It's not by a lot, but we got a new high single. Of course, I gotta make it all nice and fancy. There we go. Not only is it the new, new Palace High single, it is also the new High single. Ten. Then a spare and a lousy three fill from the nine. Then a double strike. Say hello to the new high single, one, four, two. Wow, crap start. Thank you, Chris. Hello, drum machine? Yes, you've been live. Okay, because it said you're live, so it dropped out and quit. 142, new high single. 142, George? He's a pro! And now, 
the great collapse known as the game after a high one. Yeah, okay. New high single? Yeah. Double, almost a triple in there. That's what you call 142 material. Let's go for the Emily. Oh, come on, George, that could have been the first ball. And now that is the rare. I wish that was ball one moment. Still, it's a bonus. Let's see what else Stinko gives us. So far, we're in the perfect game streak. Two frames. That would have to stop things, didn't it? Week four. First of the fill. Here's the collapse. The five. but it worked. Nine pin conversion. Time for El Stinko, the bonus ball yet again. Battery's still climbing, so the nearly dead pack is still doing its job. Let's see what we get. For a half Worcester ball, not too bad. So.
turn. Final half time. Good clear up for the 10. Thanks, elevators of Canada, big elevator dude. 10. Spare. Curse of the fill with a 5. First 4 making the fill. Spare. 10. First 7. Five, 56. In line for another three digit score. No guarantees, but you never know. for that wood to settle down. Although if I threw it then the, and anything touches it, it's no good. It's something. Just either settle at the front or go off the deck. So I think by the time this wood is done rolling, let's read War and Peace. It helps to have the book. By the time I'm done reading it, that wood will stop rolling. I think it did finally. Bowling God is saying I'm not pleased with that 142. That's Could have been the Kaliri, but the four horsemen is what's left. That could have been, I wish it was ball two a moment, but we'll never know. Ten. just snuck up and tripped the king. I wonder how fast my ball speed would be at this. Well, you probably want to throw comfortably, not try to whip it, because I've seen people do that and they wind up causing damage. If you can whip it and control it, then that's a good thing. Two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? And of course, because that one just came, I used it for the shot. I used the first ball that comes back. Not a superstition, it's even wear and tear on the equipment. Stenko one lived up to its name with a, actually three. No, actually two. I can barely see that eight. Two. Uh, 
and then a craptacular half Worcester right. El, both El Stinko stunk in a lousy four fill on a strike. Looks like another three digit game though. Yeah, a little bit of highway robbery there. First of the fill. So. Appropriate. Bowling guard's middle finger disapproving of the day. How it ended. With nine. And there we have it. Nine. Ten. Strike. Lousy seven. First two balls only took care of four. And then a 9 for a 105. So here we go. Game 185, 293, 3. The Stinker, 76, 499, 585, 6, so close, 124, 785, 800 on the nose. And then finally, the double strike thing happened at the final home house. New high single, 142. And new high single at the Palace. And 105, which is disappointing after getting that. So now, high single and high new Palace. 142. So, you know, you've seen me put the L's which represents meeting or exceeding the low. So we have to put an H there, meeting and exceeding the high. And so that's, yeah, last three games were in three digits, 100 even, the high of 142 and a 105. Thank you, drum machine. And that'll be it. It's about 14 minutes before the people that are actually good take over. Although the 142 kind of helps. George F551 saying, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.